Formula E is heading into the second half of its season and what a season it's been. We've still so much up for grabs, let's have a look back at the story so far. We kicked off with a doubleheader in Hong Kong. Round one saw an eventful race with new team Tachita going into the wall early on. Sam Bird of Virgin Racing managed to finish in first place despite being given a drive through penalty. No rest as we were back at it the very next day in a race that started under the safety car. Daniel Apt capitalised on a spin from Venturi's Motara by using his fan boost to take what looked like the win. However, later Apt would be disqualified, moving Mahindra driver Rosenquist to the top spot. After a dramatic early spin from British driver Alex Lynn, Felix Rosenquist won his second consecutive race, overtaking Renault's Sebastian Buemi late on. This victory was enough to see him move top of the Drivers' Championship. Jean-Éric Verne edged out to cheat a teammate Andre Lotterer during a gripping race, which saw the teammates collide. However, the pair would then be claiming a piece of Formula E history, the first ever 1-2 finish. Despite a strong start by the championship leader Rosenquist, the Swede had to retire early from the race, leaving Audi's Daniel Apt to claim victory and revenge in Mexico, with Britain's own Oliver Turvey securing his best ever finish at second. Uruguay was the setting for one of the closest races of the season. Some great driving from Virgin Sandbird saw him move from ninth all the way up to third place. But all eyes were on the battle between reigning champion Degrassi and current championship leader Verne, with the Frenchman pipping the Audi driver to the post. This now leaves Verne and Tachita leading both championships. However, with others hot on their heels, the second half of the season should shape up to be an exciting one. Next stop, it's Rome.